doctor room class during the last class where we saw last class. We saw the word classes. And the, the main word classes that we saw were the nouns. Sorry for the speaking. The nouns and the verbs. Do you remember what a noun is? A noun in English? Or can you give me an example of a noun? Apple. No. Apple, yes. So a noun is a type of word that represents an entity, an object, or an animal, or a, a thing. And a verb, can, uh, can you give me a verb in English? Action. action. Yes, a verb is an action. action. So what kinds of verbs do we have in English? Stream. Stream, walk, walk talk, work. Yes. So we have the noun and the verb. Today we're going to uh, work on grammatical functions. So, grammatical functions are uh, the types of things that words do, do uh, in a sentence. I, I will give you an example. Mary sent letters so what is the verb in that sentence? Uh -huh. What is the verb? Rub sent. Or rub sent. Sent. So sent is the verb. <laughs> we have the subject. That is the other grammatical function. The subject. The subject is the one that does the verb. Is the doer of the action. The one that carries out the action of sending. So Mary is the one sending, so she is the subject. We also have the thing that is being done. So letters are the one being sent. So we will call letters direct object. Direct object. And then we have Paul. That is another kind of object. Since Paul has this preposition, we are going to call him object. But since, it, since he has a preposition, we are going to call him indirect object. Okay? Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. Are there any questions? No. This, this is very easy, actually. So what I'm going to do now is to give you a sentence, and you will tell me the part of the sentence. Uh, here, Charles bought a car for Jane. Charles bought a car for Jane. So, John, what is the subject of that sentence? John. Charles. So, Charles. Yeah. Charles is, is the one who bought. Uh, what is the direct object guy? Car. Uh, car. Uh, car, yes, the car is the direct object. And uh, Tau, what is the indirect object? Jane. Yes, Jane, because Jane has a proposition. Yes. So we are clear on that. You know what the subject is, the, the direct object and the indirect object. What happens in a word like, in a sentence like, she loves cats? What happens in she loves cats? It doesn't have, has, it doesn't, it doesn't have uh, indirect objects. Yes, it doesn't have an indirect object. So we would say that this is the subject, and that this is the direct object, and that's it. There is no indirect object. So very easy. So do I, do I still have time? Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to give you sentences, and you will underline the, the subject, the verb, the direct and the indirect object. <coughs> and then we will check.
done? Yeah. Are you done? Okay, you're supposed to do this. You will choose the subject, the verb, the direct object, and the indirect object. If there are, yeah, just underline and say, this is the direct object. This is the verb, this is the Um, my sentence is Jessica's with the newspaper. Okay, uh, Jessica reads the newspaper. Uh, what is the subject of the sentence? The subject is Jessica. Uh, and the, the direct object? Uh, indirect subject? Uh, yes, object? The, no. The direct object. Direct subject is the newspaper. Is there an indirect object? No. No. Okay. Uh, Tao, can you read your sentence? Okay. Sam sent a gift to Laura. Okay, so what is the subject of that sentence? Sam. Yes. The direct object? Direct. Direct. Okay. A gift. A gift. Gift, yes. And do you have an indirect object in that sentence? Yes. Which one? Laura. Laura, yes, very good. Uh, John number one, John number one. Read your, read your um, sentence. The sentence is, uh, the cat ate the mouse. Uh, the cat is a subject, yes. and the mouse is a direct subject. Object. 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 Yes. 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 And is there an indirect object there? No. No. OK. John number two. <laughs> and Jenny gave a hug to John. The subject is Jenny. The uh, give is a verb, and uh, a hug is direct object. John is in their object. Is that okay. correct? Okay, yes, it's very good. So are there any questions about this? I think that it's very clear from the exercises, right? Yeah. Alright, so that's it for today. Thank you.